Country music artist Gretchen Wilson, who is currently 47 years old, made her country music debut in 2004 with the Grammy Award-winning single Redneck Woman, a number one hit on the Billboard country charts. The song served as the lead-off single of her debut album, Here for the Party. Wilson followed this successful album one year later with All Jacked Up, the title track of which became the highest debuting single for a female country artist upon its 2005 release. During her career, the singer from Pocahontas, Illinois has charted 13 singles on the Billboard's country charts, five of which have reached the top 10. Wilson has sold over 8 million records worldwide, and in this video we'll be checking out 16 things you didn't know about her. Before we begin, be sure to like the video and to subscribe to the channel for more exciting country content here at Everything Country. Firstly, her mother was only 16 years old when Gretchen was born on June 26, 1973. Secondly, she went to school only through the 8th grade, and at 14 years old, she was working as a cook and bartender at a bar called Big O's in nearby Pierron, Illinois. She kept a shotgun nearby as she worked. The third fact on her list is that Gretchen and John Rich from Lone Star wrote Redneck Woman, an autobiographical song in which she celebrates her humble background. Speaking of Redneck Woman, Wilson recently revealed that watching fellow country star Faith Hill's music video for her 1999 smash hit Breathe planted the idea for Redneck Woman into her head. And next, at age 34, Wilson earned her GED and the experience prompted her to become an advocate for adult education funding. Growing up just east of St. Louis, she is a big fan of the St. Louis Cardinals. The country artist even recorded a version of her hit song, Redneck Woman, dubbed Red Bird Fever in honor of the baseball team. And the seventh fact on our list, Gretchen named her tour bus, Bus 27, which is her lucky number, and how old she was when she first gave birth to her daughter, Grace Penner, on November 9th, 2000. Grace's father is Wilson's ex-boyfriend, Mike Penner. In 1996, she left her hometown of Pocahontas, Illinois with just $500 in her pocket to build a music career in Nashville. She is also a huge fan of Hit Me With Your Best Shot superstar Pat Benatar. Number 10. She has performed with rock band Alice in Chains during the VH1 Rock Honors. After seeing the 2004 documentary film Super Size Me, Gretchen Wilson was unfazed and committed to eating McDonald's at every tour stop. During a recent interview with Rolling Stone Country, Gretchen confessed that she truly admires the original music being created by One Direction's Harry Styles as a solo artist. Number 13. In April 2010, she released a customized version of her song Work Hard, Play Harder in honor of the NHL's Nashville Predators, with reworked lyrics mentioning the team and its fans. And next, when she first crossed paths with future collaborator John Rich, she threw him a business card and a homemade demo after he asked her why she didn't have a record deal yet. She was busy singing with a Nashville house band and didn't want to be bothered. Number 15. Growing up, Gretchen's grandmother introduced her to classic country artists such as Patsy Cline. Though her father wasn't in the picture, she inherited his natural music talent. And last but not least, in August 2018, Wilson was arrested at Bradley International Airport in Connecticut after reports of a minor disturbance. This caused many fans to ask, what happened to Gretchen Wilson? Police arrested Wilson after she reportedly became belligerent, and she was charged with breach of peace. After appearing in court, the charge was voided and will be thrown out in 13 months as long as she stays out of trouble. As a part of her deal with the state, Wilson donated $500 to a fund for injured crime victims. Well folks, that's all for this video. We hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to like the video and to subscribe to the channel for more crazy country music content here at Everything Country. We'll see you next time, country fans.